now that we have finally created our text it's time we start adding animation to it because we don't want our text to just appear and then disappear in the same so first thing i would like to do i like to lock this open up your text you have access to two functions here open up your transform and you can see that we have the same transform properties just like we had in our shape what this should tell you is that we can actually do the same animation that we've been doing to other text so for instance so i want the text to just come in from under i can just set my position here they go exactly zero seconds then drag this down and then if i play this of course very boring movement i can highlight this easy ease i assume you guys know the process already we've covered this in the previous videos and of course go to the graph editor i like then we'll just do something like this click this and let's play this we have our text animated in okay if you want to have more control so you can further break down the text in letters or in words and then you animate them one after the other so it, it depends on what you really want to achieve but this is just the basic animation and you can also add rotation opacity and scale animation to this text as well but there's also something very interesting i'd like to introduce you to but well, first of all i like to cancel this animation so i have to take this play here to where the text is appearing and then click on this blue icon here to cancel the animation and then we have our text if you don't do that let me undo that if you don't put your playhead where you can actually see the text in the scene if i take this back and then cancel the animation here you will not see the text the text is actually below our composition you have to now drag it back right so that's why it's better you always put your play head where you can see the text before you cancel your animation just in case you don't need the animation anymore so i'm going to place this back the way it is yeah so let me introduce you guys what i call presets so what are presets presets are already made animation that you can always reuse for you to have access to your presets different kind of presets i want you to go to your effect click on this arrow here then i can click on my effect and presets and immediately this will, will display so for some of your system it might take time for you to display the whole of this or to eventually display if you don't have your effect and presets go to windows then click on effect and presets right now what we have here is all the effects and all the presets here so if you look at we have animation preset 3d audio so from 3d channel downward are all effects right but animation preset is what we are actually looking for so open up your animation preset then you see folders right one or two of these you might not have because i've actually updated mine the one we are interested in right now is the text so open text you see 3d text animating animator blur and what we're about to do is to animate in our text so it makes sense to go into the animate in preset now i just want to drag in like a random preset and see what happens to our text so before you drag in your text one important thing you need to know is your time indicator should be at the beginning or it should be at where you want it to start animating in so let me take this back click on my text then click on fade up characters that's the one i want to drag and then drop it on my text and as soon as you do that you see that your text disappear you can still see the handles but it has actually disappeared so let me play this now can you see what's going on it's actually animating the text one at a time right if i press u u is for revealing your animated keyframes as soon as you press u it will reveal where you have your animated keyframe on any layer so that's why i press u you can see that i have you know range selector here start to finish but actually what is really going on is this let me close this close this and then open up my text again and you can see we have animator one this animator one is what we dragging into the text so let me open up my range right so this animator one was not part of the text before it was when i added fade of characters then we have animator one and animator one is what is driving the animation that you can see right now so and this is these are the functions these are the ranges for us to you know get something like this 
and as you can see it's it's going from zero seconds to two seconds it started from where our time indicator was which was on zero seconds and it's ending at two seconds of course you can alight this you can adjust you can make it faster by tweaking by putting on one second and then play you can see it's appearing faster so of course you can apply easy ease easy ease and then tweak it right and just squash it a little bit and then if i play this right you can see it's now looking more interesting and this is just one preset that we've used we have like tons of other presets right i'm going to drag in one or two but just to show you this is animating folder we have other preset that does other things i'm, I'm going to get into that a, a bit i'm going to show you one or two of that in a bit so right now i want you to do something for me i want you to click on your animator one and then delete because you want to explore more presets and then closing your text here right and take this back to zero seconds because if deleted the preset, the text will still be, remain on the screen. So let's try spinning character by right, drag this and drop. Okay, let's see what this does. It moves our text from here to there, but let's see what, what it does. Let, let's play. Oh, can you see? It's giving us a very interesting look, right? So I'm going to open up my text. You can see it's also animator one. If you open up your animator one you can see the range this has other functions as well so i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to delete so this is for animate in now let me go to other types of presets yeah we have blur we have expression we have all sorts let me let me check let us check other ones we have organic let me go into organic and then let's see what we can use now i want you to drag in quiver and drop you see that nothing is happening because the folder of this is organic it's not animating or neither is it animate out so let's see what it does if i play this can you see the text is actually shaking like it's quivering i hope there's a word like that basically just keep exploring all of this and see what you can come up with you can also combine presets now i have you know quiver I can also add animate in. So let me go to my animating folder and then let me use let me use the code feeding. Just drop it. And if I play this, my text is feeding in and also the quiver is also on. And what I can do is if for me to make that faster, I can press U. I can see the range selector and I can select the last one here. Just you know squash it to one second so it to be fast and i play this right and i can also still add one other preset so i'll go to animate out because i want my my own my text to animate out of the screen so i can just do say fade out slow let me click on fade out slow and let me play this so it's just fade it out so yeah, so our advice go through all the presets, go through all the presets and explore all the presets that are there. Just keep exploring, you get to see some really, really interesting presets. But remember, for you to get to your preset, you go through your effect and presets, open your animation presets, then for text, you open up text, and then you start exploring from. You know from all the folders that are there they are some some in 3d some in expression geographical lights optical just explore all of this just click drag click drag delete explore and see what works for you